Hi, Jeremy Cordo in the Court of Public Opinion. I'm just on air here to let you know that we'll be live streaming the Court of Public Opinion every Friday between 9 o'clock and 12 on jeremycordo.com. Please join us. We'd love to have you. We're sponsored by Peter Page Hyundai's SUV clearance event. Up to two and a half thousand off on various models. And speaking of Peter Page Hyundai, they've actually given me one of their new cars for yes, the last couple of weeks. It's very nice. What, which one is it? It's a Hyundai Palisade. And Oof. I'm absolutely obsessed with this car. <laughs> first things first, it's actually like big. It's like, it's massive actually, mm. but my car is tiny. So it's nice to have some room to stretch the legs. Yeah. I mean, you've been flashing the intercom feature a yes. little bit. Uh, that's well, that- been the big hitter of it. <laughs> that's the thing. It's so big. It has an intercom feature between the front and back seats. It's pretty fancy. I had one of those big ones a few months ago and you do feel like a boss driving oh, around in that, when especially I- compared to our absolute shit cars that we have, yeah, yeah. you and I. Absolutely. I mean, the, <laughs> and it has a split sunroof, driving around, opening up the sunroof. Oof. I feel like such a bowler. I mean, this is a whip and a half, this yeah. Hyundai Palisade. And yesterday I was actually driving it down Unley Road and got compliments from two strangers on how nice this car was. Oh, nice for whip, Tom. <laughs> Tom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It was at the bikini car wash. Yeah. Wow. No. That just sounds unbelievable, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I'll tell you the story. What happened was I was driving down Unley Road and they'd shut down half the road, right? They'd like completely shut off. Turns out, uh, apparently, I got told by these strangers that a log had fallen onto the tram lines and all the tram systems were down around oh, wow. that area. Yeah, so all this trap, like, they're, everyone's getting redirected. I was stuck in traffic. I mean, I think I sat still at one point for about 10 minutes. Thankfully, I was just blasting fresh and windows down. And that's when these two strangers came up to me. There was these two British guys. And they were like, excuse me. Hello. Uh, hello, hello, <laughs> governor. <laughs> and he was like, are you guys going, are you going down to Glenelg to me? And I was like, no, I wasn't. <laughs> I was going home, and Glenelg's the complete opposite direction. He's like, oh, okay, like, we were just meant to be on the tram. We were hoping we could hitchhike. And I was like, you know what? I am pretty dry on content. Hop on in. (laughs) (laughs) I may get killed by these random hitchhikers, but it could be good content. I may be able to survive and bring it to the radio. Their British accent was too disarming. (laughs) They may take Peter Page's Hyundai off my hands, but it'll be fine. This will be fine. Well, they were like, man, this is a sick whip. And I'm like, I know. It's not mine, though. (laughs) Had to give them the whole story. But, yeah, they, they. so I ended up driving them down to Glenelg. And, I mean, I was already on Unley Road, so I wasn't too far, but mm. it still took about 45 minutes because of this traffic. Where yeah. did they sit in the car? Did they go to the very back? So you could, you, they want to sit in the front, you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Go Check the out back. this intercom system. Yeah, you need to suss this intercom. You better hop in the back there, boys. So what, were they nice guys? Or? Yeah, you know, they were just travel. They just got to Australia a few days ago. One was 23, uh, 23. one was uh, only just turned 18. He just finished uh, high school. And yeah, they were just they just met randomly over here, and I was like, yeah, come on in, we'll, we'll, I'll drive you to Glenelg. We started talk because the traffic was so bad. We ended up talking for ages, bonded, <laughs> you could even say. Wow. Uh, over the Chase Australia, that was a big heavy hitter of conversation. Excellent. Did they get the Chase Australia over in England, or are they no. just watching it here? The Chase is like a England national treasure. <laughs> really? That's like their show. Yeah, they love... Yeah, apparently, wow. like... That chick is on both of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Apparently, like, they're superstars. They're like... The Chasers are like rock stars over in England. That's unbelievable. Right? <laughs> imagine yeah, the beast at the nightclub cutting shapes with you. I'd imagine it, and I'd like it. <laughs> anyway, I... Yeah, we, I dropped these guys off to Glenelg. They're trying... They're like, can we give you some cash? You know, anything? I'm like, no, 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 don't be silly. Just a I'm kiss. Like, Do you want to come into Jetty Bar? We'll buy you a beer. And I was I was like, oh, geez, tempting, but better not. I had to get home. I was already so late. But it started getting me thinking about all the different hitchhiking stories that could be out there. And we want to open up the phone lines here. What's your hitchhike story? It is really interesting. I had a mate that was in Europe, and I have talked about it a little bit before, but he said in Albania it is just really common practice to hitchhike. Yeah. It's a bit dodgy elsewhere, but it's actually something they do culturally over there that's um, really big. 
I and feel like, yeah, over in Europe, mm. hitchhiking's just big, massive. And he, he literally just got a hitchhiking, got, got, went cross-country with some bloke, and the guy was like, <laughs> uh, can you just get me a beer for it? So he ended up just buying him a single beer, and that was the uh, exchange for driving from wherever to Greece. I remember there was a time when I was 17, and I was sort of walking home and decided, you know what, it's pretty far out. I'll see if I can hitchhike because I didn't have a Metro card on me. So I've got my thumb out and then eventually someone pulled over. His name was Carlo and he had like... (laughs) It was this bloke. He had like biceps the size of my head. He told me uh, he was going to get them checked out because they're too big or something. Oh, oh he like a toss and I'm I was worried like, about Carlo. I was like, "Hey, mate, you can just drop me off up here, actually. <laughs> Please don't strangle my neck like a python with your biceps, sir. I don't want to be killed today." We're gonna go to Moana. We got Sarah on the line. Sarah, good morning to you. What's your hitchhiking story? Good morning, guys. Um, so mine from when I was 18, um, we were at a party, me and my boyfriend at the time, um, we ended up having a big blue and I cracked it and left the party and then realized, shit, what have I done? Um, so someone once told me that if you ever see a police car and you hitchhike to them, they basically have to pick you up and they can't refuse not to take you home. Yeah, right. So, um, yeah, luckily enough, I saw a police car hitchhiked and um yeah they they sort of said are you okay and I said no I've just had a fight with my boyfriend he please just get me home it was a cold wintry night and yeah they took me home yeah so, great I mean a hot tip if you can't yeah. afford an Adelaide independent taxi <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah geez. <laughs> that's a loophole in there was a half, no Uber back in those days <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for getting involved we're gonna move over to sunshine sunshine good morning Welcome to the show. Oh, long time no talk, legend. Yes. Oh, she is. Oh, I love this chick's energy. Hey, yes. Davo. Hello. <laughs> now, Sunshine, what's your hitchhiking story? What happened? So, I live in Mazabizame, and I was driving down the main road pretty much on a day like this, and I saw, this, saw these two white snow couple. I'm sure they were wearing clogs even, and I knew they weren't from around here. <laughs> I actually pulled up... Oh, I actually pulled up and I'm yobbo as, obviously. So I put my window down. I go, oh, g'day, Legion. Sir. It's getting a bit wet out there, are you? And they just looked at me like they were freaking out because it was kind of a, instead of them having their thumbs out, I just pulled up and said, get in my car. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Usually it goes the other way. <laughs> Yeah, but they did, and they were bloody champions. I mean, they weren't as loud as me, obviously. I just took the show over. But... And would you have it, I actually went on Chase Australia in 2016. It was really? wicked. There you went on the chase. Yeah. You went on the chase. Yeah, I did, and it's a wicked... That was before, you know, um, Andrew got in a bit of trouble. Yeah. But, yeah, I was up against the super nerd, and he was oh, really, right. really cool. Did you cop yeah, it? Yeah, right. it was good. Did you, good did you win, win, or...? Oh, of course I didn't, mate. Listen <laughs> to me. <laughs> what was Andrew like back then? Andrew he was actually very, very charismatic. He was really warm and friendly and, yeah, so okay. it was a very good experience. Bloody hell, really Sunshine, cool. we've missed you. Make sure you give us a call soon, hey? Oh, you know, I will, Dave. I'm, I'm withdrawing, mate. I miss you. Yeah, I miss you. <laughs> good on you, Sunshine. I went Sunshine. to Winebake Party too. That was wicked. Good oh, party. Good loved stuff. it. Hey, thanks for getting involved as always, Sunshine. Appreciate it. You guys were all- Cheers. No worries, guys. See ya. Cheers. Bye. See ya. Hey, let's go to Caitlin. Let's wrap things up in Salisbury. What's your hitchhiking story? Uh, so I was 17 and extremely late for work, and I was in tears. Um, and this lovely mother-daughter couple like in a car had turned around and had picked me up and dropped me off to work. Yeah, right, right. What was your job at the time? Uh, I still have it. Um, almost five years strong at Subway. Oh yeah, beautiful sandwich so, artist. So they did, were you? Did you have the thumb stuck out or anything, or did they just see you in the room? Um, they just saw this tiny seventeen-year-old crying and stressing, and they just turned around. Yeah, did you at least uh, promise them some subway sandwiches in exchange? Cookies, said, hey, you can come in, come in anytime you want. <laughs> I offered to them, I was like, just come in and say you know Caitlin and I'll just happily give you like free everything because I was so thankful. <laughs> free Amazing. maple sub. I haven't seen them since, unfortunately. <laughs> That's Caitlin flexing her privileges there at Subway, you yeah. know, her visor hat, hat around her finger, twirling <laughs> it around. I wouldn't mind coming and visiting Caitlin for yeah. some Subway later on. <laughs> Hi, Jeremy Cordo in the Court of Public Opinion. I'm just on air here to let you know that we'll be live streaming the Court of Public Opinion every Friday between 9 o'clock and 12 on jeremycordo.com. Please join us. We'd love to have you.